everybody, it's Brian here with Explosive Review, and I have another huge unboxing for you. I just got back from the States, uh, where all this was for the past several months for some of it, so let's, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. This is mostly soft goods, uh, mostly airsoft stuff, although I'll be using some of it for paintball and airsoft. A few just airsoft parts, a few just paintball parts, so let's get into it and see what we got going. So we'll start off with just this little box here. Nothing too exciting. Let's see. So we got a aim point style scope here. This apparently has some issues with it. I got it super ridiculously cheap, so we'll see. I uh, guess we'll see how well it works um, once I figure out battery batteries and that kind of thing for it but we'll, we'll give it a try we'll see if we can get it working but so we've got the scope here a little mount we've also got a pistol lanyard I wanted one of these just so that I don't lose my mark 23 when I'm out on the field it's got a nice spot for a lanyard so figured I might as well try using one and that was it from this box Let's uh, let's do this one next, this little guy right here. Well, this has a lot of stuff in it. This is mostly autococker parts. I don't think I'm gonna unwrap all of it, but lots of different stuff. We've got a nice, actually a nice little MP4 ram here, which appears to have the barb broken off inside of it, but tons and tons and tons of parts in here. See if I can just pull at least some of them out to give you an idea. Some ASAs. I actually desperately needed some new, just ASCs that I can throw on whatever for testing. Most of mine are on specific guns right now, so it makes that a little bit hard. So we got another front block. Volumizer. Guide rods. Another volumizer, more guide rods. Whole baggie full of stuff, just loose, which I would have preferred if it was padded, not getting all scratched, but oh well, what can you do? And uh, one more front block here. So, quite a few little auto cocker parts here. Airsoft people, bear with me. Paintball's important too. Let's, uh, let's get into this box here. This, this one's kind of fun. Here we have a Streamlight TLR1 HP. So this is gonna go on uh, one of my rifles. Very, very bright flashlight. Very directional, but Pretty fun. This is the non-strobe version. Kind of wish that I'd gotten the strobe one, but picked this up cheap again. Well, relatively cheap. Still an expensive flashlight. <clears throat> I apologize that all this stuff has already been opened, but to bring it back, I kind of had to consolidate it so that I could fit it in my bags and whatnot. And again, we've got a another TLR1 style light. This is a little bit of an older generation, but it's perfect for what I wanted uh, for my one of my pistols here. Um, and it's going to mount on there really nice. Let me see if I can grab the pistol actually. It's going to go on the KJW Blackwater 1911. And it fits perfectly on there. Hang it down. There we go. Nice permanent on, momentary on. Doesn't really look like too much because it's so brightly lit here, but <clears throat> really nice little little piece there. Next, this was a sort of a good purchase, I felt. This is uh, from LBT, and I got this on their 50% off Valentine's Day sale way back. So we got a... Uh, I think that this is what they call their like everyday belt or their dress belt. 
I just wanted a very, very plain, simple, nothing really to it kind of belt. Because I already have my uh, LBT Riggers belt, which I love. So I figured I'd just pick up one of these as sort of a use anywhere, anytime belt. Well, that's nice. Next thing we have is this. This is a kangaroo pouch style um, piece. Now, if you can't guess what else is in here, well, I'm sorry for you, but this should kind of give it away. What else does anybody get from LBT, really? I mean, this is the LBT 6094B plate carrier in Coyote Brown. This is something that I'm using for a loadout that I'm working on right now um, that I've been wanting to do for a while. So really, really nice vest. I mean, you look at this thing and the build quality on it is just unbelievably nice. Everything is perfectly square, no loose threads. Uh, everything's triple stitched, so just beautiful. And this, of course, fits right inside of here. So, very stiff Velcro. We'll see if I can get it in here even a little bit gracefully, probably not. It sits right in there and lets you put your mags in without having anything. So this is gonna be a really high speed, low drag setup. So that's gonna be fun to show you guys once it's complete, which it should be fairly soon. I've got pretty much everything for it. Let's go into this last box here. So what we have here, this is a HSGI uh, backpack, camelback sort of, sort of deal. Now I was really hoping that this was gonna come with the Malice Clips, which I thought in the listing it did, but I guess it didn't. This is probably gonna go on the back of this guy right here, like so. And just give me a spot to keep some extra crap maybe a camelback, some water, really whatever I need uh, to be out there if I'm playing a longer game or anything like that. So this will be on there probably some of the time, not on there some of the time, depending on what I'm doing. So that was, that's going with the vest there. Now there's some other really, really fun stuff in this box. Um, and this was probably, I think, actually the most expensive items out of any of this. Because if you looked at the title, you saw that this was uh, nearly, well, between $900 and $1,000 worth of stuff that you're seeing here. So what we have in here is some cry precision gear. Now, I've wanted some cry precision pants for a really long time. Um, they just have an amazing reputation, but getting them here in Canada is... Uh, and there's basically only one place to buy it from, and they're quite expensive. So I ordered from the U.S. Both of these are used. One of them has still actually had the tags on it. The other ones had been washed, but never actually worn for anything serious. So let's get this stuff out and show you what I got. I'm actually going to do this in somewhat of an order, which it didn't go into this box in the order. So this pair right here, this is a pair of the actual current army issue cry precision pants. Um, and these are a little bit different because there's a slightly, slightly stripped down version of the G3s. Um, they have buttons here instead of Velcro. There's a few less stretch panels, but still really, really awesome quality pants. You can see this is the Army Combat Pant. Um, they still take the cry style knee pads. And funny story, the whole reason that I bought these was actually because it had the knee pads in it, and I got a smoking good deal on these to the point where it would have almost been more expensive for me to go out and buy brand new cry knee pads than to buy this whole lot with the brand new cry knee pads that came with it. So that was really nice. But these are gonna be either my backups or I'll just sell them. But still really, really nice pants. These are a large, long size. So really nice, still fit me great. I was very happy with these. Next thing in here is a massive Shirt. This is again the army issued one. Um, it's a massive combat shirt is all that it says on here. It's the flame resistant one. As you can see, still has all the tags on it, so it's never really been used. Uh, this actually fits great 
Um, I, I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I, I've heard some criticisms of this shirt, but I really actually like the way that it fits, and it seems to breathe really well. The sleeve material is a little bit lighter and stretchier, too, which I like. Um, so not a bad shirt at all. So that's what came with the other, with, with, with the pants that I just showed you. Next thing in here, these are the other pants that I got, and these are the ones that I bought first. And these are the Cry Precision G3 combat pants. So these are the latest and greatest from Cry. Super, super nice. Uh, made out of the 50-50 ripstop nylon. Um, these are the pads that I got for it, the Airflex knee pads, which just from trying on these pants, to be honest, I've used integrated knee pads before and I've always been really skeptical of them, never really liked them, but these are awesome. They really don't get in your way, they don't flop around, they stay right where you want them all the time. So I'll definitely be doing a review of these pants, got stretch panels in all the right places, and I will probably actually be using these for both paintball and airsoft because they fit so nicely and I wouldn't mind having a pair of camouflage pants to play paintball in too. And of course everything is in multicam because multicam is awesome. And then finally this is a Cry Precision G3 combat shirt. No elbow pads or anything in this because I don't want any elbow pads in this but this one, the shirt's probably actually a little bit too big for me. I didn't really have a choice. It's a uh, extra large long, um, which is probably a little bit big for me, but it still fits okay, surprisingly. I thought it was gonna be a bit big, but it wasn't too, too bad. These are fairly trim cut shirts, so uh, I'm not in the trimmest of conditions, I'm sure uh, most people would agree, so uh, this, this actually fits okay. But uh, yeah, so I can hardly wait to get this kit all together and show you guys the loadout once it's done. I've been waiting for quite a long time to go down and pick this stuff up, so uh, it's been a long time coming, but it's all here now. I'm super excited, so I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to go start playing with some of it, and uh, as always, this is an explosive review. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.